a musician is a person that is both very free and very disciplined. A proper musician is somebody that can apply themselves at the same time enjoy themselves. In other words, you are almost like a walking contradiction, an amalgamation of two completely different personality types. You are both a butterfly and a bee. So how is being a cellist related to any of these things? I'll tell you why. But first, we need to look at the behavior of bees and butterflies. An interesting concept about a bee is that they are work-related. They go from flower to flower to flower, and then they're done. They don't waste time. They don't dilly-dally. They go from one flower, take whatever they need, take the pollen, move to the next flower, and move to the next flower. Here is a bee that I filmed doing exactly just this. And of course, never repeating going back to the same flower. That's what a bee does. Bees are born sterile. They are not meant to procreate. And all they do is work, work, work. Ever heard of the term a bee line? That means when a bee is done, it goes straight back to the hive. Very direct, very efficient, and always working. Now, butterflies don't have the same flight pattern. They meander about. They enjoy a flower here. Here's a bee right there, you see. But I want you to bring your attention to this white butterfly. The butterfly flies about, was just on the flower, takes a detour outside the bushes, and what decides after a long flight around to go back to the same flower, just hang out and suck some more nectar out of it. There's no rhyme, there's no reason, there's no direction, there's no task to be completed. The butterfly is just enjoying itself. And that's the beauty of being a butterfly. And then at one time, the butterfly leaves and decides, maybe I'll go to that flower, maybe I'll just fly about. Maybe I'll just fly up to the sky and maybe flirt with another butterfly. Oh, that's more fun. In other words, your butterfly spirit, your butterfly cellist inside of you is going to be just that. Free, get lost, have fun, have no direction, and maybe land on a flower and spend the rest of your day on that flower. That is what butterflies do. Yet as a cellist, you need to reconcile with the fact that you are a combination of both of these, both bee and butterfly. This would be the typical flight pattern of a bee. And if a bee cannot go past a certain task, it will stay there and not move forward, then go home. Until the next day, they may do well on that, go to the rhythm, work on that, and won't pass that stage until they're ready. And then when they're done, they'll go home. But a butterfly does not behave like that, not at all. Butterflies do the prep, and then their discovery, and then their warm up, and they may spend a little too much time playing scales that day, and there goes their hour. Maybe on a different day, the butterfly flies about and does some fingerings, gets the rhythm good, has the bowing good, and decides to go back and work on the rhythm. See what's happening here? Maybe one day, the butterfly goes right to just playing. Just wants to have fun and play. And what you need to understand is, that's okay. Because the butterfly is completely allowed to do whatever they desire in the moment. Yet, in the end, we are a combination of both of these. You need to reconcile with the fact that you are task-oriented, at the same time, freedom-loving. And when you are able to balance both of these personalities in you, you're able to find a much more fluid way of enjoying the learning process, and finally getting to that magical, happy place of being a musician. So in conclusion, when we practice cello, we are performing a series of different tasks that are linear, as in work, and cyclical, as in labor. We start as a student, then progress into our technician mode, then we become the player, and hopefully, at the end, we do become the musician. We start with our, we begin with preparation, discovery, and warm up. Then we move on to the fingering, 
the rhythm, which can be done with pizzicato, bowing dynamics, and then tempo evolving to a performance speed. We play it through, and then finally, again, ending with our special sauce moment, being that musician that makes music in the moment. For we have to reconcile with the fact that we are both a combination of a butterfly and a bee. Two completely different species with their purposes in life being totally different. One is meant to work and work and never stop. The other one is meant to enjoy. So at times, if you want to just pick up your cello and have fun and with no rhyme, no reason, no direction, just enjoying the moment, then you are very much in your butterfly mode. But you can't get anywhere in, with cello if you're always a butterfly. You need to be task oriented. You need to be strategically organized so you can move from each of the aforementioned stages. You need to be the bee. But life isn't fun as a bee all the time as well. You need to have a balance of both of these. And when you find that balance in your heart, in your brain, then you're able to truly enjoy what it means to be a player of these beautiful instruments. Thank you for watching my video today. If you learned something, please leave a like. It really helps me out with the algorithm of YouTube. And if you subscribe, it shows me that I'm doing a good job teaching you what it means to be a cello player and all the things related to cello. And if you know someone who's looking for a practice strategy concerning their cello, please share this video with them. I would appreciate it. I want to thank you once again for spending your valuable time with me here on my channel. So wherever you are in the world, please take care of yourself. Be safe. Know that you are blessed to have music in your life. And I hope to see you again as you travel along your own journey of music discovery. Bye-bye. Don't you like these girls? I like these girls. My niece drew them, so shout out to my niece. Her Instagram's in the description if you want to give her a follow on that.